Hello, friends. Welcome to episode 1096 of the Juice Box Podcast. This is the last episode of season nine. It's just me today giving you a little state of the union for the podcast, getting you ready for what's coming in 2024, tell a couple little stories about what it's like to make the podcast, and then you're on your way into the new year. While you're listening, please remember that nothing you hear on the Juice Box podcast should be considered advice, medical or otherwise. Always consult a physician before making any changes to your healthcare plan or becoming bold with insulin. Make sure you check out the private Facebook group, Juice Box Podcast, Type 1 Diabetes. There's 44,000 plus members in there right now, and a conversation that you're looking for awaits you. This episode has no sponsors, as it is the last one of the year, and I've already fulfilled all of my responsibilities. But do let me say this. The Juice Box Podcast has some longtime sponsors that we owe a lot to. They help get the podcast made year after year. Omnipod. Dexcom, US Med, the Contour Next Gen Blood Glucose Meter, Gvoke Hypopen, AG1, Better Help, Cozy Earth, and Touched by Type 1. I am very proud and humbled to say that they'll all be back in 2024. And I have one new advertiser coming on in 2024. Let's welcome Medtronic Diabetes. There are links in the show notes and links at juiceboxpodcast.com to Dexcom, Omnipod, US Med, Contour Next One, Gvo Kypo Pen, AG1, Cozy Earth, Better Help, Touched by Type 1, and Medtronic. If you use the links, you're supporting the show. What's up, everybody? I'm going to do a, an episode by myself today. It won't be very long. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what happened this year on the podcast and what's coming up in 2024. I've been uh, putting off making this episode for a few days now because uh, it's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, what's a little bit of a bummer? You guys need some background information. Podcasts dip off around the holidays. There's times of year where, I mean, I don't think this should be any surprise to anybody. There are times of year when people are more active online and there are times of year when people are more active within their own you know, real life completely to be expected. It ebbs and flows with summertime, holidays. There's a big push at the uh, the first of the year with people who are like, I'm going to take over my life and get in control. Like that happens. And then, you know, you get a big boost in January and then it goes February, March, April, and kind of drifts down a little bit. Then all of a sudden the summer comes, people get invigorated again. Then the summer ends and people drop off a little bit. Then it comes back up, and then Thanksgiving comes in America, and then there's these six weeks that just don't perform like the rest of the year. Basically, I spend the entire year making the podcast like full throttle. I'm going, going, constantly going, and thinking about content and how to help people, looking at numbers, trying to keep advertisers happy, doing stuff on social media that I'm probably not best suited for. It's go, go, go constantly. You know, did this Monday perform the way last Monday did? Is Monday down? Did Tuesday make up for it? How many unique devices did we do today? Like, it's just, it's, it's not, it's just never ending. And even when I take a little time off, you guys don't see it because I double and triple up my work so that I can leave this room without you noticing I'm gone as listeners. Anyway, not complaining. I love making the podcast. But these six weeks, when things dip off, it's hard not to feel like you got abandoned. And I know that's not a real thing. I don't actually feel that way. It just hits you like that at first. Like, oh, I've been putting so much effort into this, and everybody just went off to make their turkeys and open their gifts, which, by the way, I'm not complaining about. It's just how it feels. Normally, I wouldn't tell you about this stuff. I was going to jump on here and tell you, like, how many downloads the podcast did this year and how great it's doing and how many people are coming into the private Facebook group from doctor's offices, which is amazing. And I want to tell you about what's going to happen. But if I did all that with big energy, it would just be insincere as I am sitting here tonight and I feel a little bummed out. It's all going to go away. Next year will probably be the best year the podcast has ever had. I know all that. 
But for the moment, this is how it feels. So this is how you're getting me. And I apologize. But still, let's talk about what's coming up on the podcast next year and what happened this year. This year started off, I was very excited about a new series that I put up. But everybody wasn't excited about it, didn't seem. So I, I lost some listeners this year. And I did that by putting out type 2 diabetes content. And that was a little disappointing to me. I really thought, you know, geez, you know, podcast goes up five days a week. If one day a week for, I don't know, six or seven weeks, there's a type two series episode, just an episode, you know, like nobody's going to be mad about that. But apparently it made some people mad. So we lost a few. Now we got them back. Right. But the, the big number was little lower as far as listeners go. Okay, no problem. We lost some people who don't want to hear about type 2 diabetes, but we also gain people who do want to hear about type 2 diabetes. Moreover, I think it's important for me to tell you, I don't care. It was the right thing to do. It put good information out into the world for people living with type 2 diabetes. And my thought was this. You all listen to this show, and you know it helps you with type 1. You must know somebody who has type 2. Maybe you'd feel comfortable sharing something that came out of the Juice Box podcast with your type 2 family or friends, and we could help other people. It was not going to be a big shift to a type 2 podcast. I don't know if it scared some people off or made them upset. I, I honestly don't know. I don't get to speak to those people. All I know is I put the episode up, uh, the first one, and I lost some people. Put the next one up, I lost a few more. Then it leveled out. And then it kind of went the other way. But we lost some. So I, I hope you guys come back. Well, sorry to see you go, but trying to help people here. And so I, I did that. I put stuff out into the podcast I thought would help. And overall, it's been great. We're seeing more type twos in the Facebook group, which by the way, now has 44 and a half thousand members in it. It still adds 150 new members about every four days. It's absolutely incredible. And I've never seen a thing online help people more or be uh, kinder or more understanding. And you know, there's always somebody who says something weird, but the instance of that happening is so infrequent. And I'm actually in other Facebook groups for things I do in my life. And my gosh, the juice box podcast group, the private group, it just runs so much more smoothly than other groups I've seen. Oh gosh, way better than other diabetes groups I've seen. And I hope you guys check it out. It's called juice box podcast type one diabetes. It's a private group. You answer a couple of questions and you get let in because I have experience running that group for so many years. I know that you're always going to have a mix of people who've been around for a while, know the answers. People are brand new. They're scared. They don't even know what to ask yet. And you need people that are willing to help and be helpful. You need people who are willing to be patient and not judgmental. We have that just overwhelmingly in that group. It's wonderful. But there are times that, you know, once you see the same question, I mean me, because I've been at it for so long. By the way, this podcast, this is the last episode of the ninth season of the Juice Box podcast. This is going to be episode 1096. It is the last episode of year nine. We can call it season nine, but you get a new episode five times a week. I put up about 20 a month or, geez, 240 a year. Now, that's more podcasts than most podcasts will give you in the entire time they exist. But I'm committed to doing that again next year. You know, I want you to have a lot of content so you have stuff to choose from. I know you're not going to listen to every episode, but I want you to always have something that's valuable for you. And mixed in with that, we want to have series that are more management based or topic based. You know, kind of having stories going in the loose episodes is the way I think of it. And then like diabetes pro tip episodes or bold beginnings or coming up in 2024, grand rounds and cold wind. Those are two new series that are coming out in 2024. They're going to launch right away in the first week. And I'll tell you a little more about them uh, later, but I like there to be a lot of content so that you can choose. And it's not always easy to put out this much content, but I absolutely do love it. Anyway, I was somewhere recently in public and I saw a device on someone, a pump. And if this person ever hears this, it's no shame to you whatsoever. I just 
telling the story. And I said, hey, what do you got there? It's an Omnipod. Yeah, yeah, I said, my daughter wears that. No kidding. I said, is that the Omnipod 5? And the person said, I don't know. I said, well, it does it automatically make your insulin decisions for you? I don't know. Is it a dash? No, I don't know. And I kept going, you know, does it do this? Is it adjust your basal automatically? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I left that interaction just very sad for the person that they were wearing a device that a doctor had given them and they really didn't know anything about it. I mean, they didn't know its name. They didn't know how it worked. They just, somebody slapped it on them, you know, I'm standing there and I'm like, I have episodes that'll help you understand these. I'm telling them about that name of the podcast. And then a couple minutes later, what's the name of your podcast again? I was like, juice box. And I kept thinking, oh, they're not going to listen. And I think that's uh, why I feel the way I feel right now, coupled with the time of year, you know, even a small percentage dip in listeners when you're spending your entire life trying to put out good content so that people will will listen to it. And you see a dip, even though you're like, oh, this is Thanksgiving. I understand that people are not going to listen to the Juice Box podcast on Thanksgiving Day. You know, I know people are wrapping gifts on December 23rd. But still, you see that little dip, and then you go out into the world, and you see a person who doesn't know what the name of their insulin pump is. And you think, am I really helping anybody? Like, am I making a dent in this at all? Am I ever going to break through in a way that stops somebody from saying, I don't know what my insulin pump's called or how it works? Am I wasting my time? That's how it feels. Even though that person doesn't know me, they didn't know about the podcast. They didn't know about their pump. They weren't quite sure about their CGM. They didn't know the difference between automation and manual pumping. I thought, how am I ever going to help this person? Like, am I just, am I kidding myself? Am I just talking to the top few percent of people with the time and money to dig into this stuff. Am I, I'm not finding this person. They're never going to find my podcast. I'm not really helping anybody. I'm helping some people, but how is some enough when she's walking around in this situation, when people are sending me notes, look, oh, I'm recording with somebody tomorrow. I was diagnosed at 10. I went into a coma for three days. I spent 20 years with limited education about type 1. I was a single mom at that time. I spent years with an A1C above 11. Now, for the last 12, I've been below 6, and it gets better, right? There's, but that's that story that that person wants to talk about tomorrow. And it just keeps going. Next week, here's another person. This is for the Cold Wind series, actually. I want to talk about people with diabetes as patients in emergency room situations. Insulin pumps, general disservice the hospital does for patients with type 1 diabetes. A nursing school doesn't teach you anything about type 1. Next day. I want to talk about the importance of health and how endos can scare people who have distorted mental health and diabetes. These just... Everybody, you should see, I, I'm going to record every day. My calendar is full every work day, Monday through Friday, from now until October. And if I opened up the calendar past October, it would fill right up again. It just doesn't stop. I want to talk about an adult onset, my honeymoon, antibodies, autoimmune diseases in general, and diabetes technology. I'm sorry. Anyway, I don't feel like I'm doing enough most days. I know I am. I see the downloads. I see the impact across social media. I see the impact in my own Facebook group. I continue to innovate and make new series that are going to open people's eyes and help them with their management, help doctors understand where they're falling short, explaining why it's important, on and on. And that girl still doesn't know what kind of pump she's wearing. And that makes me feel like I am uh, a failing. 
not that the whole world is, you know, mine to fix. I certainly don't feel that way. These aren't feelings of grandiosity. I don't think I can actually impact the whole world. But when you have something that helps so many people and you can't just figure out how to get it to the next one fast enough, it feels like you're letting somebody down you've never met before. And then this thing comes along a couple of months ago and Apple changes the way their downloads work and that's going to hurt the podcast and I've got to fight through that. That's not even worth explaining to you guys, but it it's a thing. They just changed how the podcast app delivers episodes and it's going to hurt downloads. And more importantly than the number of people downloading it, 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 it stops your player from absorbing new content. So if you were to leave the show for a week, you know, download a couple and be on your way and listen to them and come back eight, nine days later, there are going to be a number of episodes you won't even know about because they won't get pushed into your, into your app. I mean, you'd be able to scroll and see them if you wanted to, but that's not how people consume things. They don't go looking for content. They, they look at the content that's delivered to them. And I want you to be clear, like the, you know, the amount of downloads that I'll lose for this, while the number will look big because there's so many of you listening. And if, you know, if you all just don't see two extra downloads a day, yeah, it's a big number for me, but that's not my concern. Well, my concern is that if that episode's not there, you may never listen to it. And if you don't listen to it, you might not get the information you need. If you don't get the information you need, you might not be able to climb out of the hole that you're in. And if you can't climb out of that hole, then you don't get to have that health success, that mental health alleviation of pressure. And you don't turn back to your doctor and say, hey, you know what really helped me? Juicebox Podcast. You don't tell somebody in a Costco that you bump into wearing a CGM, have you ever heard about the Juicebox Podcast? If you don't have the success, you don't tell people about the success. And then extrapolate that out over a few years, and five years from now, podcast doesn't exist. And why? A couple of downloads here and there. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm worrying. Maybe there's nothing to worry about. But it's just another thing that's been on my mind for a couple months now. Anyway, uh, let's finish strong here. I'll pep up a little bit for you. Happy New Year. I have made two new series for you to begin 2024. I am looking at them right now in a folder I call Workbench. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven episodes recorded that are going to be called Cold Wind Diabetes. Hmm, what am I going to call them? Cold Wind for sure. Healthcare Whistleblower, I think is going to be the, the attachment there. What you're going to get is people who are in medical professions or professions that impact medical considerations. For instance, human resources or insurance companies or ER nurses, or pharmacists, people like that, doctors. These people are going to come on anonymously. And we're changing their voice, by the way. Can't wait for you to hear that. We're changing their voice. They're going to be completely anonymous. And they're going to tell you what they see in their professions and how it's impacting you with your insurance, your health care, or even the, the professional you're standing in front of who you're counting on to know how to help you and what they may or may not really know. These are, I don't want to say chilling because it's too, it sounds douchey, but that's why I called it cold wind because I listened to these stories and I was chilled by them. Really just crazy stuff. And I, I hope you enjoy them and, and get something out of them and figure out a way to help yourself with that information. I also have upwards of 75 uh, conversations with people living with type one diabetes and people who are the caregivers of people with type one already recorded, edited, and ready to go. Those will be those conversations that you get every week with people like Amanda and Beth and Craig and Dana and Debbie and Kayla and all of the people who are kind enough to come on the show and share their story. So you're going to get those. You're going to get cold wind. And you're going to get grand rounds. Now, grand rounds is Jenny Smith and I. If you don't know Jenny from the Go Find the Pro Tip series or the Bold Beginnings or any number of episodes, management stuff that, that she's on together. Jenny and I are taking feedback from listeners and making episodes 
aimed at doctors to tell them what it is they should know, what they should be doing, and how they could be helping people with diabetes. But more importantly, while you're listening to the episode, if you're not a doctor, you're going to be learning about what you should be expecting from people so that you know how to set standards for yourself. So you don't get stuck with a doctor who doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. And you're just like, uh, I guess what you said is okay. And then you listen and, you know, don't have any benefit from it. Oh gosh, I have 10 after dark episodes ready to go. Fantastic. Very honest stories from people. We're going to be making additions to the pro tip series later in the year. And for now the the pro tip series has been remastered and it runs between episode 1000 and 1026. You should not miss these. You have type one diabetes. Or you're helping somebody with type one. Please listen to those. They will, they will fundamentally change things for you. I really believe that. Anyway, grand rounds, whistleblower. That's how we're going to start. We're also going to be finishing up the parenting series with Erica at the beginning of the year. A few more there. And then Erica and I will go off on a different topic in 2024, do some more stuff from her mental health professional perspective. I'm going to be looking for more people for cold wind. So if you are a doctor, a nurse, a pharmacist, a human resources professional, if you are in any way touching healthcare and you see some going on that you think somebody should talk about and they don't, you come on here, we'll change your name. We'll keep you completely anonymous. We'll change your voice and you can tell people what it is you're seeing. So maybe we can get out in the world and change these things. Last bit subscribing or following in a podcast app is insanely helpful. And I know that you're inundated with people saying that every YouTube video you turn on, the guy's like, hit subscribe, get that bell. You know, every person you hear on a podcast, you have to subscribe. Don't forget to tell people about the show, blah, blah, blah. They're saying that because without that, it just dies. Word of mouth momentum and telling the algorithms I like this show. Telling them means downloading it, listening to it. It means subscribing, following, you know, why the hell some apps call it subscribing and some call it following. I don't know, but that's what it is. So you got to go in your app, you got to subscribe or follow, but then you have to go into your settings and make sure you're downloading all the new episodes because some of these apps are, they're crippling your downloads. So you don't get many of them. So you got to go look at that and get that set up. And it's a lot. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but if this podcast has helped you, Please help it keep going so that it can help somebody else. If you think it's about to help you, please subscribe because you'll be helping me while I'm helping you. Most importantly, though, it's growth. Constant, never-ending, foot to the floor, work, 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 go, 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 make content, grow, get bigger, or die. That's my life. So that's the part you don't see about all this. It's what I'll be doing every day while you're listening. I honestly love it. I know I probably don't sound like I do at the moment, but I really do. And if I can just get you to subscribe and follow and turn on download all episodes in your podcast app, it'd be huge for me. And I think in turn that would be huge for you. And I know it's going to find another person that's not you to help. I see it. I see it help people. But it's just not fast enough for me. And I don't mean my own, like, I want the podcast to be bigger. I honestly don't care how big it is. I I care how many people it's helping. And man, that person, she just didn't even know what that pump was called. How could she know how to use it if she doesn't even know the name of it? How do we find her, right, and help her and other people like her so that everybody has a fair shot? Anyway, that's what's been going through my head the last couple weeks. It's why this episode's not me going like, oh my God, this year was great. By the way, this year was great. 5,567,999 downloads as of right this second, December 27th, 6 p.m. That's um, just for this year. It's f***ing amazing. Trust me. Podcast is charting well. It's up there with some of the big ones. And I mean, these are crazy numbers for a Health podcast are crazy numbers for a diabetes podcast, for sure. All-time downloads since the day the podcast started. That day was January something, 2015. I forget. I think maybe right away in January, I put up the first episode, 2015. Uh, Of course, it's going to be 2024 this year. 
to the podcast has been up for nine straight years. In those nine years, we have done a total of 15,296,905 downloads. 5.5 million of them this year. I think, let me tell you how many last year to show you how fast it's all growing. All right, I'll do that. Give me a second. January 2022 to December 2022. Give me that number. Yeah, last year we did 4.9 million downloads. So 4.9 million last year, 5.5 this year. That's, oh, geez. That's 10 million, right? Five and five. It's a little more than 10 million, 10 and a half million in the last two years, 2022 and 2023, which means it took me seven years to get to 5 million. That was crazy. And then we tacked on almost another 5 million in the eighth year and another 5 million in the ninth year. Now, next year, because of what Apple did, I do not see how we're getting to 5 million next year. I don't see it. That That's just downloads. It's not people. You understand. But I don't see they, they really. So I don't see how we're going to get to that number without adding a significant number of new listeners and you guys hanging on and listening too. So gosh, what gets us to 5 million next year with the new improved bullshit Apple algorithm? Let's see. I'm doing math. Do you mind? Jeez, we ain't doing this. There's no way getting this done. I think it's 170,000. I think I'd have to see 170,000 unique devices a month to get to 160,000, 170,000. I'd have to... Yeah, right now, what do we do? 90,000 unique devices a month? Yeah, I got to somehow add 40,000 unique devices every month. That ain't happening, by the way. That would mean everybody in the Facebook group would have to be like, ah, I'll listen to your podcast because oddly enough, they don't all listen. Anyway, that's it. We're not getting back to 5 million next year, kids. <laughs> that's not happening. But we're not going to be reaching fewer people. That's the good news. So same amount of people will be there they will account for less downloads because of the algorithm change. If we add another thousand people a month, it's nice. You know what I mean? That would really help. Another thousand a month would, yeah, it would help. But yeah, I'm doing the math here. Um, five times 20. I think it gets us there. I think another thousand people a month brings back the downloads. And then from there, growth. It's just about growing. This cannot be what you want to hear from your podcast provider, but this is the this is the truth. This is the back end of this stuff. I don't know how other podcasts even uh, they must want to jump out a window. Actually, other podcasts with fewer episodes won't even feel this because it's more about back catalog service than it is about new stuff. They might not even notice it's happening. By the way, if you're listening now and you have a podcast, you're like, I didn't notice any dip. <laughs> That's a different problem for you. For me, this is about reaching people. It's about keeping numbers up so that numbers reach people because you don't even help everybody you reach. You know what I mean? Everybody doesn't listen to the pro tip series and then just go, Eureka, I got it. My A1C is 5.9. Happens to a lot of people, but not to all of them. Some of them have to stay around for months, years before it hits them. They're like, oh, I get it now. They hear something said in an episode that makes them think, oh, I understand what he meant. And then suddenly they've got this epiphany and they're off and on their way with this good health. That's my job. My job is to find you, bring you here, serve you entertaining, competent content and keep you here long enough for you to help yourself. And Apple made that harder this year, but I'm going to find a way around it. It's okay. We'll find those people with your help. We will find those people and get them back. But if you're listening right now and you're like, oh, I listen, but I don't follow or I don't subscribe, man, please follow and subscribe. Please, you know, if you're in an Apple app, especially go into your settings and choose download all new episodes that helps immensely just that one thing following in an apple podcast app and making it so that your settings are download all new episodes is such a big deal for the podcast you have no idea after that it's telling people your doctor a friend somebody you bump into on the street 
hey, you should check this out. You should, you know, subscribe to this, follow this. This really helped me. Here's a list of episodes that will really help you. Um, right now, all of the series that are on the podcast are in the private Facebook group under the featured tab. You go to the private Facebook group, you go to the top, you click on featured, and you'll see lists of episodes that you can share with people and makes it easier for you to find as well. Quick start guide, defining thyroid, bull beginnings, more um, Scott and Jenny, ask Scott and Jenny, disordered eating. What else is here? How we eat. Jeez, there's so many ask Scott and Jenny's. I'm just clicking through them right now. Uh, the pro tip series, of course. Then there's fat and protein implications, an entire, oh God, 20 episodes, 17 episodes about pregnancy in type one. There's a list of the best of the juice box podcast episodes that listeners just love, love, love. There's the uh, three-part series called The Math Behind. It's the math behind setting basal insulin, the math behind setting insulin to carb ratio, the math behind setting insulin sensitivity factor. There's a 22-part diabetes variables series. It tells you how things from like video games to travel and trampolines all impact your blood sugars. Defining diabetes over 50 episodes, very short, just defining words, you know, all this jargon you hear around diabetes that you might not know one from the other. You know, what does brittle mean? We have an episode for that. What does bump and nudge mean? Rage bolus, untethered, stacking, it's all there. The Pro Tip series, of course, has just been remastered, like I told you before, 1000 to 1025. Absolutely fantastic. Do not want to miss it. I might have said 26 before, but it's 1000 to 1025. There's a 25 part mental wellness series. There's, of course, the Triumphant but ill fated type 2 diabetes pro tip series. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven episodes absolutely will help people you know living with type 2 diabetes. And then there's type 2 stories, people living with type 2 diabetes who have found the podcast. The podcast has helped them. They talk about that there. There's a 41 episode list of just episodes that are um, with people who have more than one kid with type 1 diabetes. There's a 17 part myth series about you know, diabetes myths you might hear. We doing, what did we do last year? Oh, the glucagon stories. I didn't even bring those up. We did four really great episodes last year with people who had used glucagon and you got to hear what happened to them and their story of using glucagon. Fantastic. There's a celiac series, uh, almost 30 episodes of me talking to little kids, which can sometimes be somehow crazy and fun and weird hearing like little tiny kids talking about their diabetes. 39 episodes about algorithm pumping. There are a brand new Omnipod 5 series called Omnipod 5 Ask the Expert. And there's the Omnipod 5 Pro Tip series. These are all in all these lists in the, the feature tab. My WeGovi diary is there. I've lost 40 pounds this year using WeGovi for weight loss. I do a small like four or five minute entry into my audio diary every week when I inject the medication. There's eight of those up already, more coming. 46 episodes about After Dark. This is smoking weed, drinking, oh my gosh, so much actually. Uh, eating disorders, using psychedelics. A uh, girl was diagnosed on a heroin bender. Talk about bulimia, diabulimia. Just, I mean, this list goes on and on. We've talked with sex workers, uh, disordered eating from a male perspective and a female perspective survivor's guilt, divorce, co-parenting, like all these really like very honest conversations with people all called After Dark. I uh, just did a parenting season with a uh, series with Erica. It's almost done now. Erica is a type one who is also a licensed marriage family therapist. There is something in this podcast for you. I appreciate you listening to this. I hope you have a very happy new year. I hope your, your holidays have been kind. I hope you're well. If you can help me help you, I'd really appreciate it. Follow, subscribe, turn on your automatic downloads. Go tell someone else about the show. If you're loving the show, go into your app, leave a five-star rating and a review that clearly explains to people why you love the show. Go find that private Facebook group. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I hate saying all this stuff. This is how the sausage is made. So anything you can do to help me will be some energy that I can use to help you. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back very soon in 2024 with a new season of the Juice Box Podcast. I'd like to send my sincere gratitude for your support 
Thank you so much for listening, for sharing, for supporting me on social media, and all the other things you do to help keep the podcast afloat. It sincerely and truly would not be here without you. If you're not already subscribed or following in your favorite audio app, please take the time now to do that. It really helps the show. And get those automatic downloads set up so you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back very soon with another episode of the Juice Box Podcast. The episode you just heard was professionally edited by Wrong Way Recording. WrongWayRecording.com